here's the interesting thing that's come out about this. First, it was the Falcons are interested in trading Julio Jones. Now we've seen Julio Jones in Dallas wearing a Cowboys jersey or sweatshirt. We've seen him working out with Derrick Henry. I don't know exactly where it was, but working out with Derrick Henry. And we've also heard reported that he wants to go play with Cam Newton in New England because, quote, Matt Ryan's deep ball is falling off. Now, Matt Ryan's arm strength may be up for debate, but his accuracy is not. And he was, you know, middle of the pack accurate in terms of deep ball yeah. um, accurate uh, throw rate. Cam Newton was like 31st. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of issues with that statement. I'm going to let you go first, though. Do you think Julio actually, like, wants to get out of Atlanta? Do you think that's best for him? Uh, no. And maybe here are some teams that I like, and I know, I, and I know you'll. I don't know if we'll overlap here. Actually, here are some sneaky teams that Julio could do really well for: the Los Angeles Chargers, the New York Jets. Those two teams, to me, have what Julio's looking for, which is enough effective cap space to pay for him, mm -hmm. um, an offense that has targets that they could pump. Like the Chargers last year, who was the Chargers' second receiver? Mike Williams, and yep. he was garbage last year. Like he was hurt and banged up as he normally always is, and and then what does Justin Herbert have? He has the best one of yeah, the best deep balls in all of football. Honestly, this would take my Chargers hate slash Herbert fatism like off the table a little bit. Yeah. I would I would buy in here um, for the Jets. Jets just have cap space. I think they're going to have a great culture, and they also have a quarterback who can throw the ball a mile. And and they and if you you put Corey Davis, you have that would be a, that would go from a receiving core where you're like maybe to like okay I'm ready for this one like uh, yeah. Denzel Mims, uh, you know um, Corey Davis and Julio Jones. Okay, I could go with that. I'm just disappointed. I, I like all of those. Those are great, by the way. The Chargers is my favorite one, and the Chargers were in my top five. I'm going to start with. A team. I, I tried to pick ones I didn't think you'd pick, yeah. but I know that like... Well, the Chargers are one of the favorites yeah. to grab it. But I'm trying to think about this from Julio Jones' perspective. I'm Julio Jones' agent. Where am I telling him to go? Okay, now, it's a bummer that the Rams don't have any draft picks <laughs> because I guarantee you the Rams are like sitting there yeah, in the their The Jets Malibu. have one for the Jamal Adams trade, by the way. I, I don't think they should use a first. No. But they will like... But it, it hurts less to give up a second when you have two firsts. Exactly. And that was part of my, my thought process and what teams could actually make the move. But... I guarantee you the Rams are sitting in their Malibu house being like, shit, yeah. <laughs> is there a way that we can bring Julio yeah. Jones in? So, but I don't think that's... Can they trade the 2031 first rounder yeah, like, for Julio? what the hell is going on? So I think that one's a real long shot. I'm going to start with um, team number five on my list. And team number five on my list is... Um, so I don't have the Patriots on there. Uh, I actually don't even have the Titans on there. Team number five on my list is the Baltimore Ravens. And I think the reason they're number five is that Lamar Jackson's accuracy isn't fantastic, but he would be he would have an opportunity to have a couple of young receivers around him, much like he does in Atlanta, have a creative offensive scheme, and have an opportunity to win a Super Bowl. And so I think from his standpoint, that's got to be uh, a, real, a real key there. All right, team number four for me is the Miami Dolphins. Now, Tua does not have nearly as good of you know, an arm as some of the guys that you mentioned. However, they also have Will Fuller. They just drafted Jalen Waddell. He would have an opportunity to not have to be like the number one guy all the time. Yeah. They would be dynamic. And Dolphins, have, Dolphins under a million dollars in effective cap space. Yep. Uh, about 8.8 .8 in actual cap space. Uh, tough, tougher scene for them, I think. But, but yeah. yes. Now I'm cheating here at number three because what I've done is I've packaged two teams together in a tie at third. <laughs> and that is the Las Vegas Raiders and the San Francisco 49ers. Both great spots for him for different reasons. If he goes to the Niners, first off, Jimmy G would be dancing in the streets because he would actually have a chance maybe to look really good for a couple of weeks. Um, but they would, in my opinion, then really assert themselves as the best team in that division and he would potentially have... Jim Wait a second. You're telling me that the Rams, having traded their future right. for the next five years, haven't even assured themselves no. the top spot in the division? Yeah, it's weird. Oh, are they going to write an athletic article on it? They might. You know, they might. They might. You could subscribe for a dollar. Um, 
but it would be a tremendous opportunity for him to relink with Kyle Shanahan. He either gets Jimmy G, who's going to be accurate, or he gets Trey Lance, who's got a cannon. Yeah. The Raiders are super interesting to me. Here's why. Derek Carr is good. Yeah. He's accurate. And he doesn't throw a ton of deep balls, but I guarantee you he would with Julio. Yeah. It gives Julio the best chance not to win a Super Bowl, which is what the Niners would give him, but gives him the best chance to be, like, dominant. On again. the Vegas Strip, too, like, all the time. My issue with Derek Carr... I got to say, when's the last alpha wide receiver that wanted to play for Dar with Derek right. Hart? Like, like Antonio Brown lasted, a f like, what, three weeks in that place? Like, Derek Carr feels to me like a guy who, like, I, I hate to say this, but he's like Kirk Cousins, where, like, he, like if they start going pear-shaped for, like, three drives, like, stud wide receivers come off the field and yell at him, and, he, and it's just, like, curls up. Like, I feel like having... He, he's like in a perfect groove right now to be Derek Carr, yes. which is like a bunch of kind of beta wide receivers and a really good tight end and no expectations to win football games. Like that's that's like the perfect situation for Derek Carr. If you put like Julio Jones out there, it's like it might gobble him up. I, but Julio hasn't been like hasn't had the reputation of being like a TO or something like that. But so let me knows? tell you this: the Raiders should okay. They're obviously have got fans coming now. This is a perfectly Raiders move. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, of course. It, right? Yeah. It's such a Raiders move. The fact that they're 33 to 1, in my opinion, like if, if I was going to bet one team, that would be the team I would bet. Yeah. All right. Number two for me is the team that you mentioned, the Los Angeles Chargers. Perfect opportunity for him. I mean, great opportunity. You've got Keenan Allen on the other side. You've got a young quarterback with a cannon. You've got a new coach there who, by all accounts, everyone loves. Great situation for him. You moved to LA. Fantastic. But the best move for Julio Jones is Atlanta. It has to be Atlanta. And the reason to me that it has to be Atlanta is, like, Julio Jones has battled through so much bad luck in Atlanta. And for the first time in a long time, I feel like they've made a head coaching hire that makes sense. They've got young players around him that are really good. And say what you want about Matt Ryan's deep ball, but... I feel like you've got to get on the same page with Matt Ryan and be like, look, man, we've battled through a lot of shit. Let's go out the right way. Me and Blake. Me and Blake. <laughs> through the fire. Through right? the fire. Like, I, and I'm not saying this just because I bet the Falcons, that's where Julio is like Atlanta. Man. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and I think Atlanta fans, they love They Julio love him. Jones. And I and they rightfully should. He's a fa fantastic player. I Yes, I'm in agreement there that like that's probably his best spot. We also just don't know. Like we had, you know, Kyle Shanahan for a year, which that offense was an absolute cheat, mm -hmm. right? And then you go with Sarkeesian, who like I think in 18 was very good. You look at Julio's 18 numbers and they were fantastic aside from the touchdowns. Then you go to Cutter, who like I'll just say this was awful. Like he was not good not for good. for the two seasons there. They should have kept Sarkeesian for for God. I, that was the move. And now like we're 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 judging the Falcons based on you know a Rahi Morris defense, mm -hmm. Dan Quinn, and Dirk Cutter, and like that's not the case. It is Arthur Smith and Dean Pease, two of the great coordinators in the NFL for quite some time. Like. I, I I think again. Um, I'm going to be bullish on the Falcons until they hit the under because, like, I, I it's just I, to me. I think that there's too many things going in the right direction now. Again, our friend Herms Josh Hermsmeyer tweeted out the whole like you know their process of you know preferring to extend Matt Ryan and, instead of cutting Dion Jones. Like they're not perfect, but the hard part no, about the hard, far from the perfect. hard part about the falcons and this came this comes all the way back to like we talk about covid and stuff like that where it's like you for reasons not of your control terry fontno um you know arthur smith reasons not in your control every single decision you make about this roster is going to have negatives because you were not give, given a great salary cap situation and you were not given a winner right away. Mm -hmm. So if you would have traded or you would have like kept Matt Ryan and got rid of Deion Jones, you would have had a shitty defense. Mm -hmm. If you extend Matt Ryan how you do, then you, you're less likely to take Justin Fields. Don't compound the like if you've assumed that you've taken the path with the least amount of d bad things happening which i think they they could have 
don't compound it by making a, a bad decision to try to make like you're not going to have a perfect run here at the beginning like you're b picking up after somebody else so continue to make logical steps in the right direction and the julio jones trade would not be a logical step in the direction that they've taken like i i don't I, think one thousand we are in a thousand percent agreement there's no way the, there's no way the falcons can win a julio jones trade I don't see it. I, I don't believe so. Yeah. Okay. Let me give you some, uh, some, um, in my dreams, these would be the teams that he would go to. The Seahawks. How cool would that be? It would be, they, the Seahawks lack a wide receiver like Julio Jones. It would be awesome. I mean, it'd be so cool to have him and are, DK. Are, are Seahawks fans going to get after me about the Tyler Lockett thing after we prove that he's the first half of the year receiver? You don't, like, <laughs> they don't have a they receiver like, like Julio Jones. No, it'd be awesome. Um, the, the next one that I think would be really cool is the Dallas Cowboys. And I was thinking about this. You'd almost have to send Gallup back in a trade or something. Like, th that's crowded. But, yes, it would be great. I think you would send Gallup. Him or, I mean, not Cooper. Cooper has too much money. Not Lamb. Lamb's too highly yeah, yeah. regarded. So, you'd, you'd go with, you'd send back. They'd get Zeke over there. Send wow. Zeke to the Falcons. Can you imagine? Um, <laughs> and then the, the last one, the uh, I have two with young quarterbacks. The Bears. How fun would that be? Justin Fields. Uh, By the way, people Alan have been Robinson. getting after us in the comment. We we didn't even we we didn't even what read the comments last year l l last week as many as we could have. But they there are comments that said essentially like do does Herbert or not does not Herbert does um, Justin Fields have like pictures of us somewhere like because we're so positive about him yes, uh, yes no he's actually just really good at freaking quarterback and was taken 11th overall good football player yeah also i've sent him news yeah, yeah totally <laughs> he's got him. uh the other one is the arizona cardinals with deandre hopkins that, <sighs> that would be a waste of talent it would suck because i'm not sure that they would be as creative as they should be but it would be cool because deandre hopkins and julio jones would be yeah maybe not that we're not in their prime anymore if they were in their prime be i think the best wide receiver duo um you know be up there with like moss yeah. and carter um what are some other really harrison really wayne um yeah isaac bruce tory holt i'm yeah. on the isaac bruce so i've been isaac. watching isaac bruce highlights jerry rice and literally jerry rice anyone and else. john taylor yeah <laughs> um, J oh, jerry rice and terrell owens yes um the 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 cardinals would be like a okay cliff you're fired yeah. if you don't if you can't make this work